Hey guys, Jax with Outpost Gray. Different strokes for different folks. That's the topic today. And I am going to be diving into understanding how to message and engage your followers on LinkedIn and why LinkedIn and the other platforms are different. And there's different strokes for different platforms. An example is on Instagram, how you're going to message somebody on Instagram should be different than how you're going to message somebody on LinkedIn. And the reason being is each platform is designed to draw in a certain uh, level of followers, a caliber of followers. Here's a great visual depiction. I love this uh, with Oprah's examples. LinkedIn is, you know, the professional headshot. Facebook's the family oriented, typically group photos. You got your cats, your dogs, your, your, your family outings, all those things on Facebook. Instagram is filtered and it's a younger generation and you've got your vacation photos and your high glam photos and your Instagram models. And then Tinder, of course, cause that's just, I don't know who uses that for networking, but LinkedIn is designed to be a networking platform to help you grow your network, uh, to help you find your job or to build business around your company. So how you engage somebody on LinkedIn, I think is something that we, we need to talk about. I'm gonna show you some examples that were messages directly to me. And then I'm gonna give you some tips at the end to hopefully help you on your journey on building your network on LinkedIn. So this is an example of somebody that was being overly persistent. What you don't see prior to this is that they had messaged me a few other times and I had not responded to them. And then in this example, within just a few days of each other, I they had noticed that I had relaunched my company out post gray. I had not responded. And then they sent me a follow up message. There's not there's not even a clear like ask of what they're wanting. They're just wanting to talk to me. And when I see something like this, and, and especially the earlier messages, it's time sucking because I'm not seeing any value out of this relationship right now. It It is a pitch to likely sell me on their product and take my time, take 30 minutes out of my day. And I'm not seeing how they are an asset to my to what I'm doing to help post gray. So don't be overly persistent. Make sure that you give that individual time to respond to you. I like to say if you message them, have a clear ask. And then if it's an executive, whoever you're trying to talk to, give them a week, then do another follow up. And if they haven't responded at that in the second follow up, I might even wait another two weeks. And then I might do another one. But make sure that every time you follow up, that there is a clear ask and that you also take their time into consideration. Doing a call right off the bat or taking somebody's time right off the bat is, that's that's a tough one for me to say yes to, especially if I don't know you and I don't know why I'm going to give my time to you. So make sure that you are presenting to them a that you're an asset, that you're there to support them in their endeavors. And people are generally more apt to give you some of their time. My big complaint is not having a clear ask. This was somebody that was just sending me a message and earlier messages we had chatted, but this was, was something not completely out of the blue. However, it wasn't, it wasn't entirely clear what they were seeking. And I read through this and my time is limited. And when I got down to the bottom and I'm reading this and I can tell that they're looking for a consulting or an internal role, I really just took this as a, okay, cool. Awesome. I don't have an ask. You did not ask me. I don't, I don't know what this individual is wanting from me. Are they wanting me to keep an eye out for any consulting positions that I might see that could fit, fit their position of what they're wanting to do? Well, I don't know what that is. I don't know what their resume looks like. So those are the things that you need to consider it, and the best thing you can do is take yourself out of where you're at and think about what would you do if somebody sent you this exact same message? Can you action it? If I don't have a clear ask, I'm not going to, I'm not going to spend my time to construct a message, to write you back, to ask you what you need. Just ask this right here. Never responded to the individual. Can I ask you a question? 
this isn't a dating site guys. Like that's, I don't know what this person wants. A better approach to this would have been, um, Hey, Miss Scott, I was reviewing your site and I see that you are in cyber threat intel. And I'm very curious about learning more about threat hunting. I have been doing X training and I'm curious on your insights of this training or do you have any suggestions on something else? I don't, again, I don't know what the rask is. I'm just assuming maybe that's what it is. I don't know. So everybody just ask the question and ask it in a way that you've taken time to review their profile. This is a great example of a message that I received. Uh, it was it was clear to the point. This was the basis of the message. This was the second message. We had initially uh, uh, connected, I think like a couple of months ago and he just reached out to me, he's doing a transition and he wants to expand his knowledge. And he asked me if I had any recommendations for any books or online classes. Of course, I recommended our cybersecurity book, uh, Cybersecurity Career, Master Plan, check it out, Pack Publishing, you can get it on Amazon. But this is awesome, clear and to the point. And it's something that I can respond to very easily and it didn't take me long to read through. It was a good ask. This was another great example, a little long. I appreciate it because it was very detailed. It was very well thought out and it has an ask. What I also really liked about it is the last paragraph. He took my time into consideration. If you don't have time, no hard feelings. I know you don't know me and I'm contacting you out of the blue. But then he added in, in there about how he had seen the interview with Dr. Osier which there was commonality, which told me that he's not just uh, scanning through LinkedIn and trying to message individuals, but he actually had seen a podcast or a YouTube that I had done with Dr. Osier and connected that together to reach out to me, which showed me that he spent time researching me. And I did respond back to him and I gave him my feedback. And this is the type of, these are the type of messages that I like to receive because then I know that you're doing your due diligence and not just reaching out to say, hey, can I ask you a question? Here are the tips that I will provide you. And again, this is specific for LinkedIn. This is a professional platform. Professional data needs to come out like when you're in your news feeds, uh, and how you're communicating with those in your network needs to be professional. So when you do that initial message, personalize it. We live in a, in a technological world and it's amazing. It's not like having to go into a networking event where you don't know anybody, but instead you can now do research and you can identify and know information about somebody to then create an environment where it's not just a cold introduction. Your initial message, you can personalize it just like this last message had on there where he had seen the information where Dr. Osher and I were, were, were talking. Um, it was great. So find that commonality with your initial message. Uh, don't ask right away for 15 to 20 minutes of their time. Please don't do that. Um, time is critical. Time is money for us. Our time, that is the only thing that we have control of. And really, we don't have a lot of control of that because that's usually led by meetings and other priorities. So giving 15 to 20 minutes, that's gold. So make sure you don't ask for that right away. And then ask how you can better support them. And you can do this in so many different ways. Um, look at their profile, see what they're doing, see what initiatives that they're pushing out and then reach out. I just had somebody reach out to me today for the relaunch of the Outpost Gray. And she reached out to ask me if she could do the banner graphics for the Outpost Gray LinkedIn page. It's a little bit further down on my to-do list, um, but it, she took the initiative to show me that she's an asset. And now I want to give her some of my time to meet with her. That's like, that never happens. So be an asset. Once you're an asset, ask for their time. Once you've created that contact and that relationship with them, then you can ask for some time and it'll be easier to, to receive that time. And then give them time to respond before following up. Uh, typically I do a week 
for after my first one. But I also pay attention to their LinkedIn f- feeds. Are they doing a big initiative and a big push, a big rollout of something? Take, in, take that all into consideration when you're messaging them. And then know your in-state. When you are contacting an executive, anybody on LinkedIn, not just executives, anybody, know your in-state. Why are you messaging them? It could be as simple as just letting them know that you want to build your network and that you're happy that they connected. And you could say, you know, I'm very happy that we were able to connect. Please let me know how I can better assist you in your journey. Boom. That's it. But if you're reaching out and you need something, you need to make sure that your ask is clear. We are all very busy. And when we scan through messages and we see something, it's just very like that one earlier. uh, It didn't have a clear ask. Make sure that your ask is clear. So. That's all I've got. I hope that helps you guys. Remember that each platform is going to be different on how you're going to communicate. And I'm big on LinkedIn. So if you have any questions, please message me, let me know. And then also make sure to hit that subscribe button and share it with your friends and followers. Thanks, guys.